guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Tracy and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's going to be a July favorites video. So pretty much this is just the products that I've gotten in the last little while that I'm obsessing over and I want to share them with you. So uh, actually most of these products I've gotten from the MAC sale and I don't know if there's a max sale in every city or some cities or maybe it's just Toronto but all I know is that it's an invite only massive sale for brand name products um, I, I really don't know how you get tickets um, I believe it's if anybody who works in a beauty related um, industry or you, you might work at like a, a counter at Sears or like Estee Lauder or Lancome and that's how you get tickets um, but when I went I saw a lot of people who like didn't I don't want to judge, but I feel like they didn't. They don't work at those places, so I don't know how people um, come across tickets. To be honest, um, actually, I should be asking myself that because every year I get a phone call like, "Hey, come to the Mac sale," and I never go. But uh, it's the stupidest thing because people come back from the Mac sale and they have tons of stuff. They have Mac lipsticks that they got for like five dollars and it's ridiculous because you could have gone with like I don't know twenty to fifty dollars and gotten like three times three times the amount or the value of that so it's like why don't I just go so this year I went okay so I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what this Mac sale is like so you go to this place I drove for so long because I live far away and it's kind of like in this secluded farming area that's how it came across to me and now that I think about it I, I feel like it was kind of like a a barn like building I don't know um, but I didn't care anyways you walk in and it's kind of like okay really big rooms giant rooms full of tables and boxes of product it's like if you're a beauty like junkie you would love this place so the rooms are huge they're like gymnasiums you walk in and um, all along the walls is all the products set up so you would walk in and you would see like Donna Coran or you'd see Estee Lauder and then Lancome, Smashbox like so many I don't even know why they call it the max sale because there's every single brand name beauty line there and they're all at discounted prices so I would say 50% off or more so it's really great uh, for makeup artists for cosmeticians or really just people who are beauty junkies and just want to stock up so I'm gonna start with this Bobbi Brown foundation and I actually got this for four dollars so I got this um, at the beginning of my tour around the whole max sale place and I looked at it and I really debated it for a long time even though it was only four dollars but I was like this is definitely not my skin color so I don't know why I'm picking up a foundation that is so dark but then I thought about it some more and then I was like this would make a great contouring tool or a contouring color so um, a really great tip is if you are um, you know of a darker skin tone um, maybe the contouring kits that are out there might not be dark enough for you so I like to get a foundation that is really 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 dark and um, use that for my contour and that really works the only downside I would say for this is that it's really liquidy and it's um, it, it's like paint so it dries really quickly so when I put it on like say my cheekbone um, you might see that line that streaky line and you don't want that so I find that when I put it on I have to just let it sit for a little bit and then I have to start blending right away before it starts to stain my skin if that makes sense there is this Mac single shadow and honestly I'm so glad that I got this color um, originally it had it was uh, supposed to be a, like a brown color that I would just use on my lid just regularly but I tried it when I got home and it has this really great red tone to it so this is actually like my base crease color before I start any look I will dip my blending brush in here and I will just go inside my crease and blend it out. And this is really great just because it gives more dimension to the look. Um, and you'll find a lot of um, beauty gurus, cosmeticians, they start with um, a base crease color and this is a really great one. This one is um, eyeshadow single, it's an eyeshadow single, uh, <laughs> okay. 
It's an eyeshadow single called Deep Fixation, and it says Velux Pearl if you want to take a look for it. Really, really great investment. I actually don't know how much I paid for it. I want to say $12. The thing that I got is this MAC uh, lip pencil, and this is in color Vino, and I'm just going to show you the color there. Um, so it's like a, a wine color, and um, you'll notice that this is a tester size, the same way that that foundation was a tester size, and again, this was only $4, probably because it is a tester size. Um, but guess what? I'm going to use this for a really long time, um, even though it's short. Um, I thought it was worth it, so I picked it up. Um, the one thing I would say about this is that I probably won't use this this season. Um, so in the summer, spring, I like to wear lighter skin tone or lip colors. Um, I'm sure a lot of people do too. Um, so this is a little bit dark. But since that ombre lip is in style now and a lot of people like to use darker pencils, this would be great to line the lips and then put it something lighter on the inside. Um, but yeah, definitely saving this for the fall. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this blending brush. And um, actually, this is the purchase that I was the most excited to get. And the reason why is because I've been using my sister's blending brush for a really long time. And I think she has a Lancome brush. It's really, really good. But I've never had a blending brush for my own. I've always used like alternative brushes. Um, but that doesn't work because the eyeshadow just ends up looking really choppy. So this... This has honestly been my savior, my savior, savior, savior. I love this brush. Um, it makes my eyeshadow looks look 10 times better, completely blended, um, and I'm way more confident putting on my makeup now because I have this. Um, I don't know what number this is or anything. It says Eyes by Design Blending Brush. That's all I know. There's no number or anything, um, but it was $10. Can you believe that? $10. I'm really excited to show you this because it is uh, Riri's uh, Ruby Woo. Why did I have to read that? I know that. Um, it's Ruby Woo and it's the the wonderful, wonderful um, matte red that MAC makes that's usually sold out and I actually was really surprised that um, they had this. So I found it, I picked it up and I was so happy. So that's everything for my MAC haul. Um, it started off as a July favorites, now I think it's a MAC haul because everything is kind of MAC related. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, comment and follow us on everything that we update like our Instagram and all that good stuff, it's down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.